put different numbers in the circles so that all seven numbers are in order. So we need the numbers sorted in order from smallest to largest. So for this circle here, we need a number that's larger than 24, but smaller than 300. So there are lots of possible answers, but we could have 25, because that's larger than 24, but smaller than 300. Now we need a number between 300 and 307, so we could have 301. And here we need a number between 307 and 512, so we could have 308. But again, there are lots of possible different answers here. Draw two straight lines from point A to divide the shaded shape into a square and two triangles. So we can spot that this angle here is a right angle, and squares have right angles in the corners. So from point A, we can draw a line here and a line here, and that creates a square and two triangles. We have a square here because all of the sides are the same length, and we have right angles in each corner, and we have two triangles because we've got two three-sided shapes here. Draw a line to join two other numbers which have a total of 700. So 360 and 340 have a total of 700, because if we add these numbers, we get 700. So the other numbers with a total of 700 are 475 and 225, because if we add these numbers, we get a total of 700. And the way to spot this quickly is to know our number bonds to 100. So because we know that 25 plus 75 is 100, we know that our answer will end in two zeros, so be a multiple of 100. And then we can just check that it works using column addition like we've done here. Complete the table. So we need to write numbers in numerals and words. So numerals are just digits. And if we have the digits 3, 8, that's 38. So now we have 2, 6, 9, which is 269. Because with a three digit number, the first digit is the hundreds digit, so tells us how many hundreds we have, and then we can read the rest of the number, and because we have 6, 9, that's 69. And notice we hyphenate 69 and 38. Now we need to write in numerals, so in digits, the number 504. That's 504. And this zero is very important, because that means the five is the hundreds digit, because in a three digit number, the hundreds digit is the first digit. The hundreds digit is always the third digit from the right. But because we only have four, we need to write zero four after the hundreds digit to make it clear that we don't have any tens in our number, we just have four ones. Match all the times to the correct time of day. One is done for you. So 9 a.m. is in the morning. Because remember, an a.m. time is before midday. So before the 12 o'clock, that's in the middle of the day. 2 p.m. is in the afternoon. Because a p.m. time is after midday. So after 12 o'clock in the middle of the day. So 2 p.m is two o'clock in the afternoon. 11.30 a.m. is in the morning because it's an a.m. time, so before the 12 o'clock, that's in the middle of the day. But 11.30 p.m. is at night. A p.m. time is after midday, and if it's 11.30 p.m., that means it's almost midnight. A p.m. time is after midday, and if it's 11.30, that will be 
at night time. Five children made a graph. Hazel is 135 centimetres tall. Show this on the graph. So on the graph we have 130 and 140. So 135 will be the line in the middle because that's five more than 130 but five less than 140. So we need to make sure that Hazel's bar stops at this point here because that's 135. Write the two missing digits. So something minus something equals 34. And because we have a missing digit subtraction, it's easier if we write this out as a column subtraction. So remember with column subtraction, we start by subtracting our ones digit. And we have one minus something and we have 4 as the 1's digit of our answer. But clearly, they haven't subtracted from 1 to get 4, because 4 is larger than 1. So what they must have done is exchange with the 10's digit, and then put 1 in front. So subtracted from 11 to get 4. Now 11 minus 7 is 4, because 11 minus 4 is 7. So this missing digit here must be a 7. So now onto our 10s, we have something minus 2 is 3. Now 5 minus 2 is 3, because 3 plus 2 is 5. But what was this digit originally, before we exchanged? Well when we exchange, it's always 1 less 1 in front. So this digit must have been a 6 because 1 less is 5, and that means we can put 1 in front of our 1's digit. So that means the 10's digit is a 6, and this missing 1's digit must be a 7. And then we can check 61 minus 27 is 34. Circle the number that is closest to 250. So first we have 261. That's 11 more than 250, because from 250 we would need to add 11 to get to 261. Now 246 is 4 less than 250, because if we add 4 that will be 6 plus 4, so an extra 10, meaning our tens digit will increase by 1, so that will become 250 if we add 4. Now 255 is 5 more, 209 is 41 less, because if we subtract 209 from 250, we'll get 41. And 275 is 25 more, because if we add 250 plus 25, we'll get 275. So the closest number will be the number with the smallest difference. So that's this number here, 246, because that only has a difference of 4. Circle the number closest to 100. So first we have 70. That's 30 less than 100, because 70 plus 30 is 100, or if we subtract 70 from 100, we'll get 30. 120 is 20 more than 100. 85 is 15 less, because 85 and 15 make a number bond to 100. If we subtract 85 from 100, we'll get 15. 111 is 11 more than 100, and 909 is not close to 100, because that has 9 as the hundreds digit. So the number closest will be the number with the smallest difference. So that's 111, because that only has a difference of 11, and all of our other numbers have a difference of more than 11. 
There are 104 children at Delton School. 48 children are girls. How many are boys? So to find the number of boys, we need to find the difference between the number of girls and the total number of children. So we can work out 104 minus 48. So 4 is smaller than 8, and normally we go to the left, one less, one in front, but here we have a 0, so we need to go to the left again, one less, one in front, and then again, one less than 10 is 9, and then we can put 1 in front of our 1's digit. So 14 minus 8 is 6, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 0 minus nothing is 0. So that means that 56 children are boys, because 56 boys plus 48 girls gives us 104 children altogether. Write in the missing number. 120 plus something plus 70 equals 500. So first, let's find the total of 120 plus 70. That's 190. So what do we need to add to 190 to make 500? Well, to work that out, what we can do is subtract 190, so subtract the total of what we know from 500, so from our answer. Because when we have a missing number addition, we can use subtraction to find our missing number. And 500 minus 190 is 310. So that's our missing number, and then we can check 120 plus 310 plus 70 is 500. How many 5 pence coins equal 50 pence? So we need to think 5 pence times what equals 50 pence, because that will tell us the number of 5 pence coins that we need to have the same value as 50 pence. Now 5 times 10 is 50, because 50 divided by 5 is 10. So that means 10 5 pence coins will total 50 pence. 